Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channel Television. We're broadcasting live from our Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Our friend colleague is with us in the studio. Uh, we're taking a look at athletics management in Nigeria. You know the story. We've been giving you the updates. But Alfred is trying to make me understand that, that look, it doesn't look as bad as it is. Is that what you're trying to say? That, that's uh, exactly so. Um, as far as it, as it concerns the Olympics, uh, we know that these athletes, um, they have their uh, programs, they have um, your training schedule, they have their coaches. Mm. Um, what we, I think what we need now is to create a platform, give them good preparation by supporting Supporting them. This is the, Gabriel Ocon, for instance, is, is one of the coaches and is on one side. Look, Alfred, I don't know, I don't know what we are doing, but if at this stage, this is this is the majority of the board, mm. by the way, mm. and they are meeting Abuja. Mm. And you saw Gabriel Ocon there. So in fact, the if if you are to represent Nigeria at the Olympics right now, mm. and you are a, you are a track and field athlete, what will be going through your mind? Oh, like this, it's not as if the athletes don't know that this thing has been going on all this while. Um, it's not as if they don't know. But at the end of the day, what's the plans, uh, what are the plans that we have for these athletes? What mm. is the level of support? If the support gets to them, hey, if everybody wants to, they say support can never be too much. If Shea Guzo and his part, so okay, you know, for, you know what? We've um, secured sponsorship for these athletes going to the Olympics. We are going to give you training grant, $10,000. And the minister, the minister and this, um, the majority of the board members, the Abuja group, says, okay, you know what? We have our own plans. We want to give you $10,000, bring all the money it's for the good of this athlete. Let mm. them go and prepare. Support this thing can never be too much. Okay. So whatever it is, the, the plans that you have, put something on the table. Let it get to these athletes. Let them take care of their basic needs, mm. their coaching, the training, yeah. and all of that. Because hey, if you if okay, if you're expecting ten thousand dollars and you end up getting twenty thousand uh dollars, -huh. is that an extra motivation? It is. So you've seen one group. This is another group <laughs> led by um, the president, Ibrahim Gusso, who, by the way, the other board told to step aside. Solomon Ogba also in your picture there. Uh, he's, I think Solomon Ogba made us realize that, look, all is not well. When he resigned and then the talk started flowing. But it is what it is. We're hoping that some persons will sit back and say, let's put the sport first. Let's remember athletes. It's not about us. But for now, it is what it is. We're still waiting uh, to see peace in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. We'll continue to monitor that situation. But AFN, everybody involved, the ministry, uh, the uh, Olabode Judge Group, the Brian Gusso Group, Minister of Youth and Sports, coaches, Athletes, the media, it's 230 more days to the Olympics. Tokyo 2020 mm. Olympics. We should be doing the things that will make us have a good representation in Tokyo, not this. 230 days to go. Let's get on with the show. I told you at the beginning that I see Sato Shola, super, super, super Falcons player, and she's, she's laying good examples. She's, she's uh, building platforms that can discover and nurture young talents for women's football. And it's very laudable. Uh, Asisa Adeshola has been doing this for quite some time now. And it's, you will see the pictures of the girls, uh, Alfred. It was good to see them come out. Now, parents are not saying, oh, no, 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 you're a girl. You can't play football. Mm -hmm. And that's what success can do. Mm. It's not, um, it's not a question of uh, being a girl and not being able to play football. It, it's, uh, these days, we get encouragement. Parents are the ones now, for some of them, we've made it in such a way that they deliberately, deliberately push their kids to take to sport. And, and, and we're beginning to see the, 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 the result in terms of the number of players we have at the grassroots level. There's mm -hmm. no club that comes up now that will not get players. And it can only get better. It can only improve. Mm -hmm. And I like what uh, this young lady is doing. Perhaps she's, she might not be the uh, most blessed footballer, if you, if you like, but she has, over the years, showed that... Made impact. Uh, yes, made impact in our society. And mm -hmm. young girls are looking forward to this every, every 
every yeah. year. And yeah. it's having a very, very massive impact mm -hmm. that, you know, on their lives and, and their careers. For, Ten years down the line, and some of them will come to tell you that, hey, yeah. one of the big yeah. breaks I had was, yeah. you know, taking part in this, and it just gave me courage to continue. What she has achieved alone as a footballer mm -hmm. is enough to motivate these girls. Mm -hmm. But she has also created a platform to mm -hmm. say, look, you can actually achieve your goals. Let's listen to uh, some of the girls that featured in the program. Uh, the program is called Football for Girls. I have to go back to the training, the drawing board, to put my effort. But I know the people here, they are not more better than me. I have to believe that I can do more better. And I know that I'm going to show myself on the 24th December. I will play against the celebrities. I will come back fully prepared to let them know that, yes, there's a player that is coming behind South Shwala. He's coming up, upcoming player. So, yes, I'm sure I'm, I'll be the one. <laughs> Learn a lot. Because before, when I started playing football, I don't know how to control all those things. So, but I went to one academy. So, that's when I'm doing personal training. I learn a lot. So I love it. But when I came here, I really love it. It's very interesting and I love it. It's Oshola, Azat Oshola, because I'm a striker. I played nine. I love it because she's she's too calm, she's too humble. I really love it. I love the way she passed, she controlled. I just love it. So I learn a lot from her. I came here because I have the passion to learn more because I, I, can't, I can't know all at once. So I want to learn more and more. I wasn't as good as when I came to this place. And ever since I came yesterday and then I'm here today again, I know I've improved a lot. It's actually going to like make them dream more because you know there are some people that they would dream about it and then the thing just killed, died down like that. That was something that happened to me back. I just feel mm, I won't be able to do it and I killed it down. But the moment I started getting, um, um, places to come to, you know, opportunity. I started going for it and then it started growing in me. So I feel it's going to like grow the dream inside of someone more, a person. I just love, I love the way it keeps. I love the way it keeps. Like any, I, I feel comfortable when people, um, the opponents are bringing ball. I know it's going to catch it, even if sometimes it, there can be a mistake, but I know most of the time it's going to catch it. So I feel comfortable that no, we are surely going to win this. So uh, that's a Sarah Omokoya. I love her story. Uh, she's a 300 level student at Caleb University. You see what we preach, Alfred? Wow. So she loves what she's, what she's seen of her sister Toshuala. She's in school, she's young, and she was picked among the selected 25. They will play an MP, MP, uh, Nigeria Women's Premier League All Star team. They are already dreaming. I mean, it is, like, like we said earlier, this uh, platform, it can't come bigger than this. Uh, yeah. And the moment, uh, for the, the expression is the moment you even get picked shows that there's something in you mm. that the world mm. is waiting mm. to see. Mm. Uh, like he said, the, uh, at some point she doubted her abilities and she just wanted to push it down. But, you know, all that God revived again, she can only get better. And yeah. um, we just hope more opportunities, more platforms like That's this right. come up for girls to really come up because it's really, really important to empower the girls, you know, the female footballer with programs like this. It just shows, uh, and when they see these inspirational figures, it just kind of helps their game yeah. and, and make them become better persons. Good goalkeeper, look at her right there. She's in the university, 300 level, Sarah mm -hmm. uh, Omokoya. She says Ter Stegen is a, is a role model. <laughs> uh, sister Ashola plays for Barcelona women's team. So uh, we should watch this dream closely. Uh, coach Emmanuel Sahon, the coach of FC Robo, is using this also as a scouting system. System. If you are good enough, they will invite you to FC Robo. Fantastic. I love it. So uh, big ups to Asisa Toshola for putting together that program, Football uh, for Girls, a good way to empower the girl child. Again, we're emphasizing the importance of sports. So all those talks of ah, no, 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 no. You want to take persons off the streets? It's your sports. You want to empower persons that are physically challenged? 
youth sports. It's a tool for empowerment and can also bring the country together. So uh, that's a good one coming for uh, food, women's football development. Let's get to the men now and talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League action. We return on Sunday. Can Kano Pillars keep their form going? Let's take a look at March Day 7 fixtures in the Nigeria Professional Football League. March Day 7 and Aqua United, they, still, they are still looking for their first win of the season. Heartland, they will take on inform play to United, still unbeaten, uh, still at the, on the, at the top of the league table. Play two, we travel to Kigwe to see if they can do what MFM did on that ground. Not just MFM, Rivers United also won on that ground. Sunshine Stars will host Nasarawa United. Kano Pillars, and they just got their first win over uh, Aqua Starlets um, six, two, three days ago. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going against Delta Force. Katina United, we play MFM. Uh, Abia Warriors, we play Aqua Starlets. The Aqua Starlets will be hoping to bounce back after that disappointing loss to Kano Pillars. Aqua United, uh, Coach John Obu, the new coach, and, and, and the team, I don't know, Alfred, what they're going to do, but if they don't win against Adamawa United, uh, I know we'll get a press statement. I know that one for sure. <laughs> FCF and Uba, I will take on Wiki Tories. Our Warrior Wolves will, will host Lobby Stars. Aimba and Rivers United postponed because Aimba will be busy in the CAF Confederation Cup, same as our Rangers International and Jigawa Golden Stars because of continental action also. Alfred, which of the games are you looking forward to? Well, for me, um, FC Fanyuba and Wikitoris are two teams that have, um, in my opinion, punching above their weight this season. Um, contrasting results. So, if Fanyuba, somehow, they've found a way of, you know, getting results uh, in Newe. Um Recall that Rivers United, uh, when we expected them to do very well there, uh, they got beaten. Uh, for Wikitoris on their own, some decent results. As I'm just looking at that game as one that might just um, uh, produce one or two things. Uh, you mentioned Aqua United. Mm. Adamawa United is a decent ball playing team. I've, I've seen their game. I've, I watched them against Wari Wolves in, uh, in Wari. Mm -hmm. If you take them for granted, they will hurt you. That's right. They will hurt you. It took Wari Wolves. First half, they go less in Wari. Second half, it had to take them going down to 10 men for Wari Wolves to beat them. Mm. Uh, two, uh, two so, if you look at them, you have a young coach, Coach uh, Bilu Mohammed. I'm um, not coached before in the Premier League, but he's a very, very astute tactical coach. I seen the way they play. I, I, I just the first day I saw them, I just admired it because mm. they, and mm. in goalkeeper, in goalkeeper mm. part, they, mm. they have a goalkeeper, very, very exceptional goalkeeper. So Aqua United have their work cut out, Absolutely. and the next of champion is where they should be getting results. And yeah. I mean. It's, it's surprising that they, at home they struggle against yeah. Katina, Katina United. Yeah. That draw against mm -hmm. Katina United mm -hmm. was like, hey, hey, mm -hmm. wait a minute, what, I what's know. happened? I know. So uh, you'll, see, you'll see pictures of that match against uh, Katina United. They got some clear chances. It was mm. about finishing. That was, that was a major problem for Aqua United. Uh, but look, the, the, the coaching crew led by uh, the experienced John Obu, Obu says, look, let's relax, let's be calm. But I don't think the fans will want to become after March day seven. If Aqua United, a major prospect for the league title almost every season. Well, the caliber of players they yeah. the, the signed this, this time around. I, I, we we're looking at Aqua United as one of the teams. Strong contender. But it's early days yet. This is just March day ah, seven. March it's day early, seven. It's, it's early days yet. Uh, we've seen it. Like Canopy last two, they started on that yeah. shaky on that shaky ground too. But, but now uh, it's like early it's days. Corner. But Play Two United already letting you know that they mean business. Play Two United at top uh -huh. of the lock, fourteen points, uh -huh. followed by Wiki Tories on thirteen points. It, so it's like look, Aqua Starlet. Uh, well, just um, welcome to the Premier League, yeah, especially with Akanu Pillars. Mm -hmm. Experience at some point will, 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 will work for you. Work I for mean, you. They've, they've got they've got Rabi Ali back. You know, we knew we, we know the influence he has mm. on the team, mm. and we also knew that the moment uh, he gets back into the team, mm. um, they, they will start getting the, the talisman um, leader on the pitch, uh, on and off the pitch. I, I'm sure uh, we don't want to go back to what happened the last time when the Super um, uh, Super Six was uh, was no, played. No. I we don't want to go back, but. I'm, I'm yes, sure that he will be looking at that. Yeah, ah, I let myself repented, down. Yeah. But he just showed the kind of leadership, what Canopilla has been missing yes, in uh, his absence. Yeah. And, and thank God we've passed all of that. We've moved to the next stage. It's an opportunity for them to, to see if they can rack up um, maximum points at home.
Yeah, so that's it. Kano uh, Pillars will be looking for their second win of the season when they take on uh, Delta Force. Uh, Katsina United will also welcome MFN. We've shown you match day seven fixtures in the Nigeria Professional Football Leagues. Alfred is looking forward to FC Final Bar and Wiki Tories. And Wiki, they've been decent so mm. far uh, this season. But hey, hey, Aqua United. In fact, when Alfred was speaking, I'm sure fans in New York, is, you know, what is this I'm talking about? What is he telling us about Adamawa United? We say we need to start winning after match day seven. That's what it is. That's how desperate they are for a win in Uyo. Uh, it's not just, I told you, to be a busy weekend of football, not just the Nigeria Professional Football League, there's also the CAF Confederation Cup, Alfred. And this one, it's win or win for Nigerian teams. It, would be, it might be difficult or tricky for Rangers but hey, fans are expecting Ayimba to win. Ah, yeah, Ayimba, 2 p.m., uh, that game will be against San Pedro of Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. 2 p.m. in Aba. I, I don't know, for the life of me, calf, this insistence on playing by 2 p.m. Uh, in Nigeria. Somehow, I think we just have to find a way of uh, sorting these things uh, out for and Rangers. So, so on Sunday? Uh, on Sunday. Yeah. Um, for Rangers, uh, they left today. They travel to Egypt today. Um, tomorrow, fill the tough and, and, and play on Sunday. Rangers know that they have their work cut out. Yeah. Um, um, without sounding as if defending them, if you watch the game against uh, Pyramids, against Pyramids mm. it was a game that they had firm control in the first half. Somehow they lost the plot. The moment um, uh, defender, uh, the Rangers, um, Olusesi, top Olusesi was, uh, they were reduced to 10. Uh, from then on, they just lost the plot. Mm. How do you explain considering two penalties? One record in the home game in character, <laughs> character. He just, character. he just, he just tells you that. Yeah. But I, I, I was, I saw Coach Salisu today, and he was like, um, mm. spoken to the boys. Ah. They beginning to warm up. They begin to warm up to him, and all of that, and ah. all of that. Missing some key players. Ugu, Ugu, Adeogu is not no. part of this. Top goal, Chelsea that was recorded. Mm. Not, Maybe not part. part is not part of this. Uh, the two goalkeepers that traveled. Uh, uh, Nana Bonsu, uh, Nana Bonsu, and. Uh, uh, Opubo, yeah. Uh, Opubo are the and team. they will have it at the back of your mind, at, at their minds that they brought in Coach Salis yeah. for this campaign, the CAF Confederation Cup. So. Some of them actually confessed that um, since um, they arrived at Salis, they made some significant um, progress in mm. terms of in terms of their play. But all of that, all of those progress will amount to nothing if you don't get the results on the field of play. Um, right. The two Egyptian teams in that mm. uh, in, in in that group. Uh, Al, Al Masri won their first game uh, away. Yeah, so it's looking. Why Pyramids won here yeah, now? Won. Rangers will play Al, Maz Al, so, Al Masri. So pressure on them now. With Let's see. Let's see. We know it's pressure. going to be difficult yeah. in Egypt. We know this North Africans the way they mm -hmm. come out and support their own. So it means that when Rangers and Aimba play at home, particularly Aimba on Sunday, mm -hmm. can we go out and support our own teams? Mm -hmm. Very, very important. This is the CAF Confederation Cup, and there's money in this group state. There's <laughs> money, and we want it for Nigerian football team. So all the best to Enugu Rangers and Aimba uh, in the CAF Confederation Cup. We will continue to monitor that one, and this is the place where we will give you all the latest updates coming from the CAF Confederation Cup. Moving on swiftly now to the English Premier League. I told you, a lot of football in action uh, this weekend. Tomorrow, actually, that is the last game for tomorrow in the English Premier League. Manchester City will take on Manchester United. I want to know the colour of Manchester. If it's going to be red or blue, this fixture always gets us talking in the English Premier League. So uh, let's see how that one will end. While in Italy, in Italy it will be Lazio taking on uh, UV uh, right there. So we just, we just selected those two for you to see. Everton, it's not looking so good for them at the moment, but they, can they pick themselves back up when they host Chelsea? at Goodison Park. Let's see. Let's go on this quick break now. When we come back, we've got about a, two minutes or so to talk about that every clash between Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua. Don't go anywhere right back.